Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mason Media tutorial, we'll be taking a look at how to create some simple sci-fi movie titles with Blender and using a little bit of animation nodes. So this is a good tutorial for if it's your first time using animation nodes. It's a pretty simple setup, but it starts to get you an idea of how cool it can be. So in Blender, we've got a new scene file. I automatically have the cube and camera and light deleted because who needs that? And the first thing we'll do is hit Shift A and create a new text layer. We'll just hit seven on the numeric keypad to go to the top view and then tab to go into edit mode. And we'll put in our text here, which is Mayor Manana. And we're gonna wanna change this font. And in order to do that, you can go over to your font settings and you can change it over here, but that's really a pain. What you can do instead is install the add-on font selector, which I'll put a link to in the description. And then you can go through and just scroll down until you find a font you like. So just hold this down for a while. How about we'll do Corbell, Corbell, we'll do Corbell and tab back out of edit mode. Now I've got some text, but you'll see it is flat and you can see the keys that I'm pressing down in the bottom left hand corner in case you're wondering and I forget. So what we'll do is we'll go and extrude this just a bit. So we get a little bit of depth and then we'll add some bevel because in case you didn't know, you got a bevel. Make the resolution something like three and go back to seven. And now we're looking pretty good. You know, we're most of the way there. The next thing that we'll do before we get started animating is add a camera. So shift A camera and GX to move it about in the middle, GZ to move it up. And I hit zero on the numeric keypad to just get our view in the camera. And now we'll keep moving the same way. G, Z, and G, shift Z, down the corner. And we'll scoot it back up even a little bit more. And that's looking pretty good. So now we have got things pretty much ready to go. We'll go ahead and dive into animation nodes by tearing off a new window here and hitting Shift F3 to go into our node editor, which can also be accessed from here. Node editor, create a new tree, and we'll call this text animation. And now, you know, we've got nothing in here so far. So the first thing we're gonna do is add our text. So we'll hit Control A to search, and we'll just type in text object, and we want separate text objects. And what this node does is it takes our text objects and separates it out into each individual letter. So we want, so we can select our text, grab our source here. And now another funny little thing you have to do with this is add an ID key after this so we can get and keep our original position. So object ID key and pipe this in here and we'll choose, we want the initial transforms so now we get all these options. What matrices are is they're basically location, rotation, and scale all in one little package. So you can manipulate all these at the same time with this one little socket here. So we're gonna change our matrices, which is location, rotation, and scale using the offset matrix, which is matrix offset. We can type these in here. And then we're gonna output these matrices back into our object. So I'll hit Shift A and do an object matrix output so you know we have a socket for a matrix matrices and it automatically changes these to being semi-transparent which means it's a list because right now we have a list of m-a-y-o-r-m-a-n-a-n-a -N -A -N -A, all in one thing and we'll pipe all of our objects in here and now we'll link those up just perfectly and now if we select something like rotation you can see nothing happens yet and that's because we need to hit update here and now you can see some things have changed. So now we just get our M highlighted here. Let's create this new animation nodes container. So animation nodes is automatically split up our text into all the different individual parts. So if we turn this off, you can see it's just doing all this stuff nicely in the semi background for us. So now we can change our Y rotation. And look at that, that's pretty sweet. Now in order to do this for each one individually, we'll add a fall off. So shift A, fall off directional and pipe our fall off in here and we'll change y to something like 90 
And now as we move our X position here, you can see we get a nice reveal. So we actually want this to come from the left instead. So as we reveal our text, you can just do this. And you can animate this value here, but it's even more useful to add a little object transforms input and hit shift a create a new empty plane axis is fine and we'll call this main text rotate and we'll update the name of our text to something like main text and you'll see if we hit update our text disappears that's just because we need to reselect our main text since we renamed it so little eyedropper there main text and update now we're back rocking and rolling so in here we'll do our main text rotate object which is just that empty that we added a little bit earlier and we can pipe the location into position now as we move this main text rotate you see we get stuff revealed excellent so now we can start animating so gx then i location keyframe play through hmm and hopefully I don't get copyrighted for that music, excellent music. GX and just to the end there. And I location. We'll make this whole thing something like, like 70 frames for now. And see, there we go. It might be a little bit fast, so we can go tear open a dope sheet and go over to dope sheet. And we'll just move this. So it's more like 60 frames. Yeah, that's looking a little bit nicer. While we're animating, we'll go ahead and animate our camera. So go back to frame one and hit I for location. And then we'll go to frame 70 and we'll zoom in just a little bit. So GZ, just a little push in and I location play through nice that's looking good so now that's rocking and rolling maybe we want to add a little you know subtext here we know we want to know what mayor manana's job was on this film so what we can do is pretty easily temporarily turn this on shift d g y move it right below turn this guy off set this guy to secondary text and come through and we'll find Corbell italic and we'll just scale this down a little bit not that much G Y it's looking pretty good and now we can just copy and paste this whole node tree so shift D and we will select secondary text hit update and now that all works just like that beautiful maybe when I have these uh, the second one start a little bit afterwards because that might be cool so we can just pretty easily duplicate our main text rotate Let's go back to the beginning here main text rotate shift D enter call this secondary text rotate and set it as this one secondary text rotate and then we'll go into our dope sheet we'll open this up a little bit so we can see what we're doing and you see secondary text rotate we'll just select both these keyframes and move it a little bit here and maybe change this around a little bit more to play through Beautiful. Now it's a little bit offset, which is pretty nice, I think. And now the last thing that we can do before we make this pretty is we can back out of animation nodes. And we can add just like a little sci-fi underline thing because, you know, this is a sci-fi title. So I will hit Shift A, Mesh, Single Vert, Add a Single Vert. And I'm not sure if this is something that's standard or if it's an add-on, so Control-Alt-U. So in case it's an add-on, it would be under this Add Mesh Extra Objects add-on which comes stock with blender so just enable that then we'll tap into edit mode and gy move this down e to extrude x uh, constraint along x and i prefer doing this to making 
bezier curves just because the default bezier curve is a pain. We'll extrude this up here and EX. Nice, that's a nice little sci-fi element. Then we'll change this from mesh and do a curve by hitting Alt C and do curve for mesh. We'll do our curve settings. We'll add a little bit of bevel. Change this so it fills full. And change the resolution to three-ish. That's looking pretty good. All right, now we can get to making this look pretty. So what I'll do is add a quick little light, shift A. We'll add a lamp, add a spot lamp, GX, be right about in the middle, 1GZ. That's looking pretty good. And I'll hit border. And now if we hit shift Z to render this real quick, you see that not much is going on yet. So we will change our background to be black. And I'll hit control B so we can just render this little bit here and shift Z. And now maybe we can turn up the intensity of this spot lamp and the size. And you know what might help out is adding a material. So we'll go over to our main text and add a new material. It'll be principled, It'll be all the way metallic. It'll have a little bit of anisotropic. I'll call that good for now. We'll call this metal. And we'll add this to our secondary text. And now we'll need to update this because right away it's not going to do anything. So we need to go back into our animation nodes tab and hit shift F3. And hit update. And update. And if we hit shift Z. There we go. And I've got some materials going on. But that's not that interesting right now because it's mostly just a lot of specular. So we'll increase the roughness a bit. See how that's looking. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. Bring the roughness back just a little bit. Nice and shiny. Change the anisotropic rotation. Just to say we did it. That's looking pretty good. But we want to sort of, you know, sex it up a little bit. So normally people will add an HDRI, which is fine. But I much prefer doing the more fun thing. You can use nodes. Go and shift F3 again. Go into our textures, world texture. And we'll hit control T, which is from the node wrangler plugin. So it automatically sets up all this excellent stuff here. So you can just add an image texture. Like I said, while most people like to add HDRIs, I much prefer pictures of disco cats because who, who's going to know? So like, can I rave with you possibly? That's pretty funny. I think this one will be good. We can always change around. And now if we render, See, we've got much more interesting reflections here. We've got all these colors. We'll go ahead and quickly change this so we don't see it in the background. So ray settings, cameras off. There we go. Now that might be a little bit too, you know, party animal for you. I'll let you decide whether that pun was intended or not. We'll search for hue and saturation. And it'll bring the saturation way down. Something like 0.1. There we go. And we'll bring the value down a little bit, like 0.3. And now you just get some extra little stuff going on there. So that's looking pretty nice, I think. We might bring up the specular a bit in our material. Back to material. And specular up a bit. A bit more. And maybe add some clear coat. That's a little bit shinier. A little bit more. Roughness down just a bit. Yeah, there we go. That's looking pretty nice. And now maybe we'll make this guy something a little more interesting. So give it a new material. Make it an emission material. And make it like a, a bluish. Strength up to like three or so. Hit Shift Z. There we go. Now we get those a little bit of extra specular highlights there. Cycles is so excellent. Yeah. 
I think that's looking pretty nice. And we'll add you know one little bit of animation here. So I'll name this sci-fi line. And we'll give it a little bit of animation. So bring our end back. Hit I to create a keyframe. And make this one. Hit I to create a keyframe. And now we've got some pretty sweet little sci-fi titles, I think. Mayor Manana. If you get the Mayor Manana reference, you win, frankly. Uh, if you don't, then you know, that's fine too. All right, so there you go. We can render this out. I guess we'll, we'll sex it up a little bit more. So we can go to our compositor and I'll just clear the render border. Let me bring this way up. I'll hit F12 to do a quick little render. This will be pretty nice and quick. It's pretty easy. Should have set my tile size bigger, but you know, we can we can work through this together. Yeah, look at these extra little reflections we get from that line. That's money. All right, so now use nodes, shift A, viewer, not split viewer. Where do you think I am? Communist, uh, viewer. And once again, node wrangler, we can hit shift and drag through there and create another little nubbin. And we'll add a glare. Set this to fog glow. Threshold down. Not that much. Threshold like 0 0.6, 0 0.4. Let's see. There we go. 0.1. Maybe before that, we'll add like the quick little curves. We'll just inject a little bit of color back in here. And just do the Nick Campbell thing and really hip it up. Take a little bit of this out. Do some Christmas colors. There we go. That's looking pretty nice and clean. And then we'll dirty it up with some chromatic aberration. So search, lens, distortion. I know this is overused, but bite me. All right, so we want minus 0 0.02 or so, minus 0 0.01, and 0 0.02, just to sort of lens up these edges a little bit, maybe 0 0.015. Yeah, just to sort of dirty it up. You can take that or leave it. We'll also, just for the final, I want to go down to our render settings, drop down to film, and make the background transparent. And there we go. I mean, that's looking pretty good. As you saw, this is a pretty quick little render. Uh, it was only rendering at 256 samples, and it looks, you know, clean enough. I guess I would probably, you know, do it 4K or so. But... We'll, for a final render, we should enable motion blur because that will really sell this. And if everything went well, you should be seeing it right now. So there you go. Pretty simple little thing. Um, you know, nice little introduction to a little bit of what animation nodes can do. Really powerful. Animation nodes is one of the reasons why I switched to Blender or could justify switching to Blender. Check out Jacques. He's the creator of it. Super smart guy. He's got a Patreon and PayPal and stuff. So go donate to him because he's doing cool stuff. I saw that he was at the Blender Institute working on particle stuff, which gets me very excited. So I'm, I'm a little bit of fanboy, but there you go. So now you can see in a free piece of software, you got some titles that look pretty stinking good, I, get, I think. You could sell these for money, most definitely. So anyway, I hope you liked this little tutorial. If you like, give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, no matter what, leave your friends down in the comments below. Share this video with your friends because subscribing apparently doesn't do much anymore. So you, know, you can subscribe if you want to, ring the bell if you want to. Also check out meesnewmedia.com slash products. We've got all sorts of good stuff that'll help you make easy, help you make good looking stuff faster, easier, etc. LUTs, light leaks, all sorts of stuff. The light leak and lens junk pack would be really good for these titles. I use lens junk for titles all the time just to sex up the background a little bit. But anyway, with all that rambling done, once again, I've been Theo with Meesnewmedia. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.